What's up, YouTube? It's JB Thick. Got another beer review for you going today. Today we have, uh, for the first time on these reviews, a beer in a can. We have Dale's Pale Ale from Oscar Blues Grill and Brewery. They're out of uh, Lyons, Colorado. Uh, we have a uh, an American Pale Ale today. Uh, According to them, it's brewed with hefty amounts of European malts and four kinds of American hops. It delivers a blast of hop aromas, a rich middle of malt and hops, and a thrilling finish. I hear a lot of good things about this beer, honestly, just, you know, to throw that out there like it looks sketchy, you know, because, I mean, how many craft beers do you see in a can? But the thing about that is, is they say, like... The can protects it as well as a keg from light, you know, damaging effects, and that they want you to be able to take good beer with you to, say, the camp zone or whatever, you know, up on a mountain, uh, bike ride, shit like that. They want you to be able to take this and, you know, enjoy good beer without the hassle of clanky bottles and shit like that. But anyways, uh, as far as the uh, hops, they say they have... Northern Brewer for bittering, Cascade and Columbus for flavor, and a big post-boil edition of Centennial for aroma. So, they say to use a shaker glass or tumbler. Got my new Guinness one right here. On. We're gonna crack into it. Not much for smoke. Oh, a little bit right there go for the pour. Really nice color right off the bat. Um, it's a, it clocks in at a 6.5 ABV. So, you know, a good, a good quality beer. Really good looking beer, too. That, that's a deep color. You know, pretty clear. Nice, thick finger and a half head. Uh, it's nice, thick, frothy. Got some nice uh, aroma on it. it smells hoppy, um, you know, herbal. I get some malts on there. But, let's go into that taste. Mm. See, that's really, it's really different. It's, uh... You know, as far as, like, you know, the whole preconceived, this will taste like metal. It tastes like beer, man. I can't tell the difference. Uh, it seems, it, it's got a lot of bite to it. Like, you know, most pale ales. Uh, it reminds me of the Sierra Nevada pale ale. It's a, uh, it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of, uh, hoppy bite to it. A little bit of malt, uh, like, just uh, nice enough to warm it up, like, you know, ah. Uh, it's really good, um, a really good example of the style, and you know to to you know basically wave it at the uh, at the bottle industry and say that you know cans are just as good, and a lot of people prefer them. They say it's you know that's better protection for the beer because light can can fuck with your beer. That's a complex beer. As far as, uh, you know, thoughts and grade, it's definitely one you could just pick up a six-pack and head, you know, out to the lake or something like that and, you know, have a really good time and enjoy some really good craft beer with it. Uh, it's really, it's, it feels really drinkable. You know, it's a little edgier than, you know, say your standard pack of, like, Bud Light or Coors Light, whatever. Um, you know, it's got actual flavor. It's It's heavier, so, you know... If you're just going out there to have a good time, you know, this is going to loosen you up pretty well. It's a beefier, it's a beer, it's a man's beer, you know what I mean? Which is not at all to say that the ladies wouldn't like it, you know. But, let me know what you think of this, you guys. Uh, pick it up. I'm going to go ahead and give it a, uh, give it a B. I'm really impressed with it, like my first canned review on here. Uh, I like it a lot. I'm really liking this pale ale. Avenue, you know, it's the, it's the, 
I mean, obviously the medium between, you know, the maltier side and, you know, an IPA, it's in between, you know. But, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think of this shit. If you get it, if you've ever had it, or anything else from Dale's, they have a, a broad selection. It's a unique company. They got Cajones, and they make really good beer. So, I'm going to get up off here. Y'all let me know what you think, and take care of yourselves.